today, increases in on-campus rent in an interview with Lewis Black. That and more is all coming up right here on Spinnaker News. Good morning, Ospreys. I'm Taylor Johnson. You're watching Spinnaker News on Spinnaker Television. Housing and Residence Life Director Robert Boyle has suggested to increase rental rates for main campus housing in 2015-2016. This is based on historical averages, inflation, operating expenses, and maintenance. Boyle prompted an average increase of 4.68% for fall and spring rental agreements for campus housing. Then for summer contracts, there would be an increase of 4.60%. According to Housing and Residence Life's rental rates history, this means that most students will have to pay around $150 more for rent to live on campus. Private single occupants in Osprey Landing and the Crossings will experience the largest increases in rental rates at around $325. The flats at UNF, which have been recently purchased, are not being affected by the rate increases. And in case you haven't heard, comedian Lewis Black is coming to UNF. He'll perform on Thursday, March 12th. Spinnaker got a chance to talk to Black on the phone. He talked about performing at a college environment. There's a certain amount of ass in college, you know, a certain amount of ass teachers and a certain amount of ass students. When you get out, uh, you, you know, you're going to be dealing with the mother load. You're in a situation where, where the ass content is limited, so you can actually get the time to, to really do what it is you want to do. Black's performance will take place at the Lazara Performance Hall at 7.30 p.m. And once again, that will be on Thursday, March 12th. All right, Ospreys, it's time to see how the weather's going to be today. Here's Heidi Andrada. Hello, Ospreys. Heidi Andrada here with your Spinnaker weather forecast. Right now, it's 54 degrees. And it, as you can see, it's partly cloudy and a bit rainy, but it won't be for long. Today, the high is 60, and we can expect a 20% chance of rain this morning. And there's no need for rain boots, because by this afternoon, the rain should fade to a light drizzle. However, it will be partly cloudy for the rest of the day, and it's breezy all day, so you might want to wear a nice jacket. The low is 52 and it shouldn't rain, but later this evening, winds will make it feel chilly around the mid 40s. And now rolling with the tides, according to Surfline.com, the swells are at 2 to 3 feet, which is thigh to waist high. And that's your Spinnaker weather update. Before we head back to Taylor, let's see what's ahead in your three day forecast. Thanks, Heidi. And now for your sports update, here's Alex Kratz. Thanks, Taylor, and good morning, Ospreys. I'm Alex Kratz here to update you on some Osprey sports action. The men's basketball team claimed a massive win last night when they played Florida Gulf Coast University. The Ospreys led both halves of the game, finishing 76-62. Junior Bo Beach led the Ospreys with a double-double as he scored 22 points and grabbed 13 rebounds. Junior Jalen Nesbitt followed right behind with 18 points and 2 assists. The men are back on the court this Saturday at 7 p.m. where they host Stetson. If they win this game, the Ospreys will clinch the regular season A-Sun Conference title and secure a home court advantage through the whole A-Sun tournament. Over on the mound, the baseball team defeated Georgia Southern 5-4 after scoring three runs in the bottom of the ninth. Freshman Blake Boyles doubled to the left field, which led to the winning runs. As you can see here, junior Corbin Olmstead hit a nice single where he slid into first earlier in the game. Later in the game, here's a solid hit from junior Nick Carmaris as he was able to reach first for the single. The Ospreys began a five-game spree this weekend in Charleston, South Carolina, starting with a game against St. John's tomorrow at noon. Heading back over to the court, the women's basketball team took a heavy loss last night. Hosting Florida Gulf Coast, the Lady Ospreys fell short against the Eagles, 56-24. The Ospreys scored just 12 points in each half. The women are back in action this Saturday at 1 o'clock, where they travel to Deland to take on Stetson. 
Well, that's all for your Spinnaker Sports Report. Taylor, back to you. Thanks, Alex. Well, that's all the time we have for you today on Spinnaker News. But for more on the stories reported today and other stories, you can check out unfspinnaker.com. You can also like the Spinnaker on Facebook at facebook.com slash unfspinnaker. And you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at unfspinnaker. For Heidi and Jada and Alex Kratz, I'm Taylor Johnson. Have a great day, UNF.